Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Dungeon. In the last episode, Sari has become the town dancer. How? Well, find out by clicking on the eye on the top of the video and watching the previous episode to get caught up. So now, hmm, what should we do? Let's explore the dungeon. Actually, unless Isabella has something to talk about. Nope, she has not. Walk around town. Ooh! Finally, something. Look for treasure. I have some old caches of treasure hidden away throughout the landscape. Presuming that the dungeon lord hasn't set up sentries to guard them, it might be a good idea to go on a raid. A raid! Yes! I know that Sari would definitely be up for treasure finding. Oh. Hello, Sari. Nice to see you, Yomi. Is it time to go back already? Uh, with that outfit? Yes. No, no, we aren't going to in the dungeon today. Oh, never mind. Then, where are we going? Somewhere else. That's a rather vague way to put it. Come on, you'll like it, I promise it. Oh, is it the beach? Eh... Uh, why not then? Oh, it's not the beach. It's a really open area. This is a meadow. Looks like a meadow. After walking out of town, Sari still seems confused. Why are we here? There's nothing out in these meadows. Oh, Bunny will like it. Oh, but there is. Let's see if it's still here. Where? Why are you going down like that? I kneel in the grass, looking around for it. What are you looking for exactly? Just the entrance. The entrance to what? Entrance to where? It's then that I see a small stone among the blades of grass. A rock? Aha! Isn't that just a rock? Yeah, I think so. Look more closely. The etched symbols on its surface begin to glow. Ooh! With the rumbling, the earth beneath us begins to shake. What's happening? An earthquake! Eventually, a stairway emerges from the ground. I had a habit of storing treasure in secret rooms across the landscape. Oh, just in case. Treasure, you say? Ah, that's the only thing that she hears is treasure. Yes, why don't you head down and see for yourself? Absolutely. Oh, oh, we don't have to go anywhere. We just go straight for this big treasure. Look at this treasure. Wow, that's huge. Ah, the enchantments I placed here are still working. Now, what did I put here again? I don't know. Oh, who's that? What's that? That doesn't matter. What? Someone's here? Wait, was this person trapped in here the whole time? Oh. Wait, cat? What? Absolutely. The dungeon lord made it clear that the secret treasure rooms had to be guarded. So you were in here the whole time. You never left. I swear, is there anything this dungeon lord hasn't obsessively protected? Even I didn't put guards in every secret room. It's just a cat, Yomi. Can't we just knock her out and take the treasure? Yeah, that's, that's an option. Not exactly. Wait, what do you mean not exactly? He's actually fairly strong. I was taking a cat nap, so I'll just give you one warning. Leave now or I will scratch you into submission. Uh, no, no, don't, don't, don't scratch me, please. Well, let's just fight her. Level nine. Hmm. I think we can take her on. Oh, look, we did it. We defeated her so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. I, I, I like this cat girl already. Can we keep her instead? I, I like, can we, can we please keep her instead? Maybe the other cat girl does this too. Who knows? Well, since, uh, we're here. Utterly defeated. 
The cat girl just looks up at us. Hmm. Looks kind of embarrassed. Well, I mean, the position she's sitting in, I'm pretty sure she's embarrassed for uh, that reason. Aw, I've lost. And my clothes are all ruined. Very, very ruined. The dungeon lord is going to be so mad at me. Aw. I won't even get a head pat now. Oh, I'll give you a head pat. Especially not a new set of clothes. So it's just going to be tattered like this. Every day now? She sheepishly looks down at herself. I can't help but let my eyes wander down there to... To, to what? What are you suggesting? It is quite a delightful treat for the eyes. Uh, it is. You mean the dungeon lord does not give you new clothes? Wait, didn't that... Didn't that bunny say that too? Pretty sure uh, the bunny girl did. No. She looks down at herself. It's cold in here. Well, I... I'm pretty sure I know why you're cold. Are you trying to make me feel guilty? Well, well, if you just give up and leave, I'll have successfully defended the treasure. Hmm. The, and the dungeon overseers won't be mean to me. Wait, but this is a dungeon though. So, so will you give up then? This is my treasure room, so no. Yeah, this is Yomi's, so uh, yeah, sorry. Aww. She actually looks pretty upset. What am I going to do now? I want new clothes. Hmm. Are we just gonna send her to the inn? I actually feel pretty guilty about this. Wow, Sarah, I don't know if you should be an adventurer. You just feel guilty about everything. But yeah, it's true. I mean, I mean, she is kind of a butt naked right there. Kitty girl, butt naked. Don't you think we should do something to help her, Yomi? Like what? Oh yeah, send her back? Well, there's nothing keeping her here. And if she wants a fresh change of clothes, we can arrange something with Isabella. Perfect. So, I do not think this will be a problem. Please, let's do something like that for her. Sounds good. And maybe send her far away from this dungeon. Oh, it's not really a dungeon, it's a... Just a treasure room. I don't think the dungeon lord's going to be nicer if they found out about this. Yeah, it's... Seems like the dungeon lord is very, very mean. Big meanie pants. The cat girl nods her head fiercely. The dungeon lord is very mean, especially to weaker monsters. Wow, picking on the weak, huh? We're bullied constantly by all of the overseers. Bullied? Oh, that, that, those overseers and that dungeon lord's gonna have a piece of my mind. She looks very sad now. Oh. I was going to get a promotion if I successfully defended the treasure. Hmm. But now I'm going to be put on the lower levels. Lower levels? You mean where we defeated the overseer? Now, now, it's going to be okay. What exactly is keeping you from leaving? Yeah, what is? Well, well I don't have anywhere to go. Oh yeah, that might be a big issue. She doesn't know where to go. So I just have to make do with what I have, I guess. Do you know about the town on the surface? I mean, I'm, is, I'm pretty sure there's multiple towns. Yes, it's why most monster girls can't leave the dungeon. Oh, because it's an illusion. And they see that, <laughs> that those are humans. And, but they're actually monsters. Well, why not go there? Tell them that Yomi sent you. Hmm. Well, well, I'll try. 
You can have the treasure, I guess. Oh, and then her clothes are all... All right. Okay. He gets up and leaves the room, leaving us with the loot. Yes, where is it? Oh, I totally forgot that they were wearing this outfit. Okay. Terry quickly opens the chest. It's empty. Oh, right. I never put anything in this room. Oh. What? Wait, wait, what? Never put anything in this room. Great. So... What? So the kitty girl was guarding nothing. And the over and the uh, dungeon lord didn't know what was in there and just had her guarded. What? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, seeing the kitty girl butt uh, naked. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed it, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. In the next episode, we're gonna try and capture the spear girl. So thank you everybody for watching this episode again, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Mm, I'd probably go crazy though, because I, I don't know, I don't remember or know anything, and I don't think it'd be a good idea to just leave me alone.